Hello, it's Cliff again, and today I'm going to talk about bed placement in the bedroom for feng shui. So, let's start with the basics. This is a basic square room, and I'll teach you how to put your bed in this room. Most of you would know what to do, or at least most of you would do one of two things. You either put your bed in the furthest corner, or you put it in some place that gives you a, a nice circulation around the room. You'll not put your bed right there to block the door, right? So a lot of this is uh, comes from feng shui principles, or at least feng shui principles, they address a lot of these concerns. Where to put the bed in a simple square room like that? Well, the answer is the command position. Listen very carefully. The command position is basically the place, the part of the room which is the most protected, and it has the best view towards the door. The only factor in this room is the door. So you want to be sure that you can see the door at all times, and you're in the furthest corner of the room, because there's most energy rushing through this door. This is called the chi. Chi is the energy that comes through. If you have a window, there'll be energy from there as well. In this simple room, there's only the door, and so we think about that. You place your door at the furthest corner, your bed at the furthest, furthest corner of the room, like this or like this. But feng shui generally prefers to leave a little gap so that both people can enter the bed equally. You don't have to climb over someone. The other important thing to know about this um, com uh, commanding position is that you don't want to be placed uh, in front of the door like that because this is where most of the energy rushes through and when you sleep you don't want people to be looking up your legs that's just that's just not comfortable as well having your bed here you have a lot of energy rushing through on your side as well this while this corner is a command position and some people say that you can do that this is not really advisable because another factor for have for the command position is not where it is but what it has behind it you need to have a solid wall behind it if you are in the best part of the room let's move on to the next picture here if you are in the best part of the room but you have a window at the back that is not the command position anymore because you need to have a solid structure behind you so that snipers can't shoot you while you're not noticing, for example. So you, in this room, there's only one command position, which is like that. You can't do this because the person in the bed can't see anyone entering. This is not command position. Neither is this because you're too close to the door. This is against a window. Or if you must have it against a window, fine, but put a very strong bed head. One more thing I wanted to talk about, which is not about the command position, is for bedrooms, you generally don't want to put your bed head against a bathroom wall because there's a lot of water element and it's not good for sleep. I, I mean, um, sensibly, if your bathroom is not well maintained or you have leaks in the wall, you have mold growing around, that it's not good for you to have your head so close to it. That's the, that's the reasoning. Think about that. So you wouldn't place your bed here you can put it here or you can put it here. Now let's look at a real life ex Oh wait, before I do that, what's let's what if you want to have two beds? Right? Mm -hmm. If you want to have two beds, you can't do that. You they both have to be equal. Equal size. They both have to be singles or doubles if you have that kind of space. The reason is like this, it just shows a couple and a single. It shows an imbalance in the relationship, almost like a third party entering a relationship. So if you want do that yeah and always have a little side table dividing them to give them their own space so let's move on to a real life example well a more realistic example so this is an apartment with a small and very challenging room i was thinking of how to draw the most challenging room possible it doesn't look like much but it's actually very challenging because of the way the door opens so when the door opens like this, the energy is not rushing straight anymore. It's actually rushing in this direction. Which means that if you place your bed here, you will get the energy rushing towards you first. And if you put your bed on this side, which is slightly better than that side, your head is against a window. And if you put your head like this, your head is against a toilet wall. If you put your head like this, it's against a window as well. And all this is all against the window. And if you did this, your, your head is just right in front of the entrance, which is not desirable anyway. So how would you even solve this? This is quite a difficult room to solve, I admit. And you must, and, and, the, and compromises must be made. So this is why I'm showing this room, because I'm going to show you how to deal with the different 
um, compromises, you know. Um, so, let me see. You, you need to consider what you want to use for the rest of the room. For example, if you want to have um, a study in your room, always be sure that you don't have to cross your bed to reach your study. So let's say I put my bed in this most, this is the most desirable feng shui position, by the way, in this room. But if I did this with my study over there, it's not great because every time I want to enter the room, I, I need to actually, I need to come here, close and squeeze through the bed. So this bed becomes a kind of obstacle for me to use the room. And then it, it just doesn't become a peaceful place. You know you're part of, it becomes a, a kind of excess circulation. You don't want it there. This, the other side is definitely much better, some, somewhere there. Because if you study, you can do your stuff. If you want to use this as a sitting area, fine, you can sit and read your book. And finally, at the end of the day, you can go to sleep. And so this is the most peaceful area in terms of energy. So let's say I do this. I put my, actually Feng Shui prefers your desk to be off the wall. Um, so you're not looking, you're, you're not against a wall, but I'll talk about that next time. So let's say my office is here and I want to put my bed on this side. If you did this, you'll be against a window. If you did this, you'll be against a toilet. So which is better? This is when you need to ask yourself. There is no right and no wrong. You need to feel good for feng shui to work on you. So it's, it's not magic. It's basically telling you, teaching you how to put your bed in a way that you feel good. So personally, although it's very against all these feng shui rules, I would put my bed like this. Yes, there's a window behind me, but I can put a very stable headboard. Or maybe your window is not even very big, so it wouldn't be a, that much of a problem. Like this, I can have bedside tables on either side. It's equal, it's balanced. This is a quiet area of the room, and you have light coming in. There's the chi energy rushing through from here to here. Not so much like that because of the door, again. So I think this is great. It's not what most people would do. Some people would do this, which is not so bad. I'm a, I, I did not avoid this because of the toilet wall. Honestly, I don't mind the toilet wall. It's just that it's a bit of a tight squeeze. You can't have space for a bedside table and it's almost tucked away in a corner. So this is what I would do. You can think of what you would do and uh, post them in the comments below. So I hope this helps you understand how to place your bed in a bedroom. And yeah, I'll see you again now you know.